Hi everybody, so in video 2200 we talked about vertical wind turbines and the importance of them and how they were growing in popularity. Now there's a whole load of vertical wind turbines out there and I thought I'd look at a few of my favourites. And the first one that we're going to look at is this. It's the Owind Wind Turbine that won the James Dyson Award in 2018. It's certainly an innovative piece of technology designed to harness wind energy in urban environments. Unlike traditional turbines, which typically require steady unidirectional wind flow to generate, the O-Wind turbine is specifically shaped to capture wind from any direction, and of course that makes it ideal for urban settings where wind patterns are often turbulent and unpredictable. Its spherical structure and unique design is the result of the research and creativity of Nicholas Ariana and Yasin Nurani, two students from Lancaster University. They say that their inspiration came from observing how hurricanes and whirlwinds move in a spherical pattern rather than a linear one, and this observation led them to develop a turbine that could capture wind energy from all directions. After that, everything went a bit quiet, as these things often do, but it didn't go away. The guys worked on it in the background, and they're about to bring it out as a product and they're going to do that through a crowdfunding campaign and of course that has led to a resurgence of interest including with myself so I had to dig around and I came up with their patent and here it is it is US patent 2021 backslash 0340950A1 and if we look at the basic structure, what we can see is just a tetrahedron. It's four triangles set against each other, so a triangular base pyramid, if you like. And then there are these faces, face A, B, C, and D, set in that tetrahedron to create the O end. If we split them apart, as in figure five, we can see that they are just two triangles interlocking with each other. The big deal is what makes up those triangles, and it turns out it's actually two layers. The first layer is flat, as you can see in part A of the figure, with a slice out of one corner, and then those fingers B lie on A to create a channel for the wind. Then there's a cup C, which is like a conic section, over the top of those, and then we get a layer of fingers D overlaying with the surface E. And on the fingers D, what we've got is that the side nearest the arrow is smaller than the side facing the other way. So there are two key things to the O-Wind. The control of the wind direction using the channels in two layers and the Venturi effect from making one opening bigger than the other. Face A and B differs from face C and D, but you make up those faces as seen in that diagram and then you put them together as two triangles like this and then you interlock the triangles with each other to form the Owen tetrahedron. And I did exactly that on Tinkercad to produce this, which is a copy of the Owind from that patent. And here it is printed off. Now in the bottom I put a steel bar because it has an axis of rotation, if you remember the patent. And that axis is through that section there and that section there. So there's a bit of 8mm steel bar and the foot has two 22mm uh, by 8mm by 7mm uh, skater bearings in there, which is 608. So that's in the foot, so that drops in there. And then what we've got is a hairdryer. Now, this won't generate by itself. It's just a wind capture device. Of course, we need the actual generator to bolt to, um, to it to make it a generator. But the whole thing about the O-Wind is its ability to capture wind from any direction and turn in one single axis of rotation. So we've got it here. We've got a hairdryer. What we're going to do is point the hairdryer at various bits and see if it spins in one direction or not. <laughs> that was pretty cool, hey? It does what it said on the box, and it's no surprise if you think about it, because these are little fins directing the air in one direction, it's bigger one side, narrower on the other, so it's going to have only one axis of rotation, so it, it certainly does 
what it says it will do. Now, you might want to give a very close look to the product that they're actually launching, and you'll see there's been some significant design changes. One thing is the air no longer passes through on that top layer. It seems to be closed off. Now, I'm not sure if it's being redirected, but certainly it's being closed off from exiting on the other side of the ball. They've maintained those fins at the top and the bottom for the rotational direction of the air, but there's been a significant change that's worth a better look into and perhaps a play around with in order to discover what it is that they've done. Anyway, it may be that the true genius of the O-Wind has got very little to do with these. As I say, it looks like they're closing them off, in which case it's not much different to an ordinary Savonius. But the true genius could well be this section here, where it sits on the top. Remember, that section bows around to act like a little thrust, and that could well be the core of the turbine. Anyway, I thought I would uh, run up a model because it's coming up again. There's been lots of reports on it, and <laughs> some are claiming 700 times better than solar. Not sure if that is true or not, but it's certainly an interesting design. Thank you very much for watching, and please do remember to like and subscribe.